Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Come on. So uh, tell us about the project. What, what have you got in particular in mind? Well, it's a really cool like 30, 40 metre route that's split in half by Aquatic Adniba. Um, the first half's amazing, quite steep, um, pinchy, lots of drop knees, just really, really nice. But like quite, quite sustained stretches a bit where you're holding on for a long time without like a shake. And after the knee bar, you, you reckoned it was 29 moves, did you? Yeah, it was 20, 29 hard moves, bad holds, and you can't do more than shakes. Then you get to a jug, which you can stay on for ages, but you've still got like a, what do you think it is, like a v, long V7 boulder problem to finish or something? I guess for you guys, have you done much of that before? Like finding a project, you know, that is hard enough that you, you don't do it in your trip there and you go away and you purposefully think, right, what can I train? How can I improve in order to go back and do it? Is that something that you guys have like done a lot before or have you more like just gone on trips, sent things and then? Well, I've never on. done it. I've never nice. trained for something. So that's, that's pretty cool. I, I, I trained for Magic Line, but I didn't have as much information about Magic Line as I do for this route because I'd only tried it really briefly. So it was more like it's this style kind of thing. But we we actually know quite a lot about this route, which is quite... Yeah, we can recreate sequences. We can recreate the knee bar that we're going to shake out on for our uh, one minute on mm. or off, whatever. My obvious weakness is just my pulling strength. It's just really bad. And I know that. Um, Cause you just have to, I just have to pull on a pull up bar and I just feel weak. <laughs> um, but I think in a way like my movement has enabled that weakness because I'm so good at like finding ways to keep my hips into the wall. Um, and outdoors you get footholds all the time. Even if they're bad footholds, you, you generally have them. So, um, yeah, I think like my technique has probably kept my pulling strength down. So we're looking at maximum finger strength in this test. We're going to be using our digital rung, which has a little force plate built into it. And the guys are going to be pulling as hard as possible in a half crimp position. And the force plate's going to measure. We're looking for the peak force and what they can sustain for 10 seconds. Come on, pull, 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 pull. Come on, Angus, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Done. Nice. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, Angus. Come on, pull, 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 Keep it up, keep it up. Keep going, come on, come on, come on. Come on, keep pulling. Really good. Come on. Done. So it might look a bit funny, but we're going to make sure that athletes keep their feet firmly fixed on the ground. The reason is, if they can lift their body weight up, then we don't know if that's the maximum force they can pull. So we're going to weigh them down to make sure they don't lift off. Go, 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 go. Come on, Hazel, come on. Come on, come on, pull, 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 keep pulling pull, pull, pull. really good. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Come on, Hazel, really good. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Come on, keep pulling, keep pulling. Come on, really good, really good. Come on, keep it up, all the way to the end. One. Both of them did really well compared to their current grade and their goal grade. Angus scored 98.5% and Hazel scored 86.5% body weight. So the critical force test might sound complicated in theory, but it's actually quite a simple test. We're going to use the force plate again, so we're going to measure how hard they can pull down. And they're going to use a repeater's protocol, so that's 7 seconds of maximum effort pulling down and a 3 seconds rest. They're going to do this for four minutes, so four minutes of non-stop repeaters. So what we're looking for is how long can they sustain that maximum force and how does it drop off over that four minutes. Come on, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Savage. Come on. Go, 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 go. Come on, Angus. Really good, really good, really good. Come on, Angus, come on. 
Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Come on. You're doing really come well. Come on, really good. Really good. Come on, last one. Big nice, pull, big pull, come, on, pull, come, come on, come on. Always the end. Good effort. Yeah, that's nice. That's pretty savage, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Really good. Come on. Bit up. Keep fighting, keep fighting. That's it. Come on. That's it. Really good. Really good. Come on. Pretty much all you need to know is the higher the number, the better it is, and it's a percentage of their body weight they can hold at the end of four minutes. Hazel did really well at this, and this is one of the best scores I've ever seen. Angus also did really well, so I'm going to say if any of you want to get much fitter, start trad climbing, because apparently it seems to work. So to test the pulling strength of both the athletes, we're going to use a two rep max pull-up. So we're using two reps instead of one to make sure there's no cheating going on or any kipping, and we're going to look for the maximum weight that they can lift for that exercise. Two reps, start off nice and easy and then we'll let you choose the weight. So we're trying to hit max within around six sets. Um. Oh. oh, I'm arrested. You got, oh my God. God, you got to keep an eye on me. <laughs> What's the max you've seen with this one then? Max you've seen this. Plus 90 kilos. <laughs> Hazel. Didn't do as well on this test. 125% body weight that she could pull for two reps. And I think it's an area for her to improve. It's something she's currently got in her training plan for Maddie. Angus did score quite a lot higher. Scored 144% of his body weight held. So I think it was 15 kilos for Hazel and plus 32 and a half kilos for Angus, which is a really good score. But for climbing 9A, I think both of them are gonna be doing more pull-ups in their current training. So we're keeping the flexibility to test nice and simple. We're looking for box splits. So how far can they get their feet apart, heels to heels, staying in an upright position? So Angus, unfortunately, needs to be stretching a little bit more. He scored 91% of his height, which shows that he is relatively flexible compared to a lot of climbers, but for this level, I think that he needs to be improving that a little bit more. So that's a good area to work on. Hazel, uh, as we often call her the gummy bear climber, is exceptionally flexible. You could see she just went into box splits really cold. 109% of her height that she could put into box splits, heel to heel. 